uh, let's look at web development tools part two microsoft publisher under microsoft publisher we are going to look at web tools or items that can help you to develop a web to develop a website under microsoft office get microsoft publisher then upon reaching here mm, So here we get into website, then we choose uh, a, a, a template of our choice. You can choose a template of your choice. Then you can see the preview and <laughs> so here comes our preview then these are the items you may want to to display these are one of the some of the other tools for instance you want like uh, uh, these are two buttons uh, the third one fourth one fifth one uh -huh. then you can say even that is an one tool for adding buttons so what uh, the buttons you can add this is uh, a format of adding buttons to your web page then you can say okay so onto our page we shall be able to look at those buttons aligned down here uh, though our system is a little bit slow but hope so here we can see that our web page our our buttons have been aligned so one of the the the, the 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 other tool is the buttons so we have seen that here we can align those buttons then you can as well say product list or you can say uh, forms you can rename here instead of uh, project list you can say events or evaluation reports reports so where you can here you can say events mm, company events events uh, so when you try to look onto these uh, uh, items, we have got one item of applying buttons. Good. Still, you can. We can look at what we call a rotator. This is what we call a rotator. It helps you to 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 change the formation of those words. You may have them flowing horizontal a little bit sliding uh, in our previous the first session we looked at the resizing tool that can enable you to resize so here we are having maybe the the, the, the business tagline is um, convi that you can trust for instance so so this is what we call a rotator it can enable you to rotate the word to any direction so that is a rotator mm, let's continue 
to look onto another another item or another tool that can enable us to to continue with designing our pages let's look at this button you can change the color scheme here you, it's where you can change the color scheme from you can uh, continue to look at how you can uh, prompt prompt colors in your 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 web Mm -hmm. We can continue and we look into uh, page options. You can change the page. You can change the page, rename the page, uh, background, fill and sound. So here, this is a tool for where you can change the background, the way your page looks like, the gradient the so you can choose upon adding so you've seen that we have changed the way the background of our website or web page so the first one was a little bit bright so here we have changed to 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 a color that is a little bit darker Hmm. So you can as well change the, the the back continue changing the background to some sort of color. You see, we are changing. We are trying to to look at this other bit of uh, 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 background or more background. Or still, you can add sound. You can apply some bit of sound in your background yeah file name you can choose so if someone goes there and reaches your your, your website that person will continue to feel some sort of sound on on your your So here you can say loop for forever or loop once times. So when you reach onto this page, that that sound will continue looping, will continue sounding all along. It will continue growing. So to apply it on which page title home, it is only entitled on on page or onto the pe home page. If it's if if it's another page, for instance, service page, it could only be on to service page. But here it's on home page. Then you say okay. So there we are looking at applying some features. So here these are tools that we can as well use. So we have looked at how you can change the the color or the background colors or or the background scheme. So here you can keep changing or even look at the way information or color is flowing from maybe from right to left. So there we have looked at the option of background or now we can check onto the other different uh, color schemes. You can apply the, you see, the more you check onto uh, changing the colors or applying another color scheme it will continue to to be visible in your site so let's look at font schemes hmm. so uh, let's look at the font font it will bring us to to, to the font color so these are other tools it will look at it will send us to the way uh, words can can be phrased or the way they look 
because you have like people you have those who are tall and big you have those who are very thin and short short and brown black in color so when you look at the different people it is same applies to font types here when it comes to text so look at this when we say that we are going to use that as our font font color you will observe that the the, the f the words the wording changes so if we say we are going to use times new roman or impact you see so these are the tools you see that now f has changed the f, the way these words look they have changed the way for instance if you can concentrate on looking at f alone when we go to vendana or tribute it will change it will stay as f but you see the way the word phrased the way it looks it has changed so that is the font scheme uh, we can continue to website options on two website option you can insert a page add a functionality preview your website we have all those you can change the template we have this template but we can still come here and change to another new template and our site will automatically change so now here we are looking at uh, the different tools that are can make sense of what we are trying to do in here in uh, uh, web development under Microsoft uh, Microsoft publisher so such such items they are very very useful so in here you may be asked or prompted uh, apply a new template to this publication apply a template to the current publication create a new publication using my text and graphics you can choose whatever you want but for now let's con stay uh, you can also insert pages and other things into your uh, into your your web page so briefly though th this section of format publication it has those tools so those are some of the tools that you can be uh, you can as well attain in format publication we are still under web development then uh, web options we have looked at it font schemes color schemes so you can continue to check onto our uh, our channel for so many other uh, items that can can be used or can be of a use or of importance in uh, designing uh, the website so briefly for now we can end there and we we'll look into the uh, other parts or other tools on to uh, designing a web site because we have seen them and uh, we have other tools in part three this is part two then we have part one also has different other tools uh, briefly we can end here for now thank you